Hi again then guys, and welcome to episode 18 of Dirt Masters Unplugged, the fusion tuning series between special projects builds and Dirt Masters. A series in which we take vehicles which are typically not the first thing you'd think of for rallying and turn them into custom from the ground up rally ready machines. And this is one of my more extreme builds in this project episode, certainly one of the faster models. It's based on the Roof CTR2, and we're making a Pikes Peak style build for it. Fully upgraded, absolutely insane around the dirt track, and a lot of fun to drive. As far as the visuals, there's pretty much nothing you can do to this car apart from the paint colour. I've opted for the matte black finish because it gives it kind of an unfinished prototype look and also looks fantastic when it starts to get covered with dirt. So we'll go straight over to the tuning garage for the mechanical setup and then take it out to the track to see what it can do. So for the mechanical setup on this particular model, I've opted for dirt tyres of course because I'm taking it on a gravel track. For the brakes, I've decreased the rear balance to 4, increased the front to 6. For suspension, we've got the ride height on 120, front and rear. Springs on 7, front and rear. Dampers on 3. Anti-roll increased to 5, with neutral camber and tow. For the gearbox, an auto setting of 205. Then for the individual gears, we've got 3.4, 2.3, 1675, 1300, 1050 and 875 with a final drive of 3.3. For the diff, the lowest initial torque, acceleration on 40 on the front, 60 on the rear, and for braking, 30 on the front and 20 on the rear. A torque split of 30-70. We've got both of the power upgrades and an oil change to bring us up to 961 horsepower. I have fitted NOS because why not? And as far as the weight loss package, we have that fully kitted out. So. A relatively simple setup overall. It's a naturally very good rally car. So now let's take it out to the dirt track to see what it's capable of. So as I said, this is a pretty unhinged setup, as you'd probably expect from the Roof CTR2. Roofs are known in general as being pretty crazy cars. Extremely quick, extremely powerful. They're also very light on their feet. The rear engine layout makes them pretty unique in terms of their weight distribution and handling thereof. As a rally car though, it's actually better, I would say, than as a road car. Because any handling which you would typically associate with a Porsche style vehicle is pretty much unnoticeable. It's perfect as a rally car. The huge power is surprisingly easy to handle. Even giving it the full beans with NOS, it's still a remarkably forgiving car. I would still recommend it for slightly more experienced rally drivers, of course, because dealing with almost a thousand horsepower in such a lightweight car isn't for beginners, really. But overall, it's extremely fun to drive. It's one of the quickest rally builds I've made. I have no idea what the top speed is, to be honest, because nobody really cares for rallying. It's not something you ever use. And overall, if you decide to use this rally style build, it is certainly fun. And I also obviously hope you find it competitive if you do decide to use it for actual competitive rallying. And that's it for this special projects build. So if you'd like more rally builds like this as soon as they come out, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.